Okay, guys, I promised to tell her to sell 10 units and he's gonna make us tour on a cart and you're gonna see everything was happening around with exactly his explanations. Let's go, guys. Okay, question regarding income. Why, well, of course, I don't like to predict. I would rather give the client a legitimate answer, but I can say that I spend $3,500 on a one bedroom and I live in the neighborhood. And you're spending for one year lease? For a one year lease. Okay. So if I was on a month to month, I actually asked my property manager and they said it would be easily in the sixty-five dollars to $7,000 range. And that's a 30 day lease. Mm -hmm. But mine doesn't come with the quality of the finishes that diesel comes with. So that's a huge selling factor for the client because it is a 30 day. Yeah, so I think roughly, I think we can make it $5,000 easy if it's going to be- On a one be bedroom? A, or one, oh, for easy, the, I think for a studio, you could easily probably get 5,000. Yeah, if you for a one rent. bedroom, you probably could get more. Yeah, when winter is coming, yes, it's totally rates different. Yes. But you can run our DNA for this neighborhood if people know what is it. Because I have so much question regarding how much you can make an income, but uh, better if you can rent for one year lease, this is going to be worst scenario. Correct. If you're going to make a, if you're going to make short term, you can stay yourself. And yeah, nice neighborhood, huh? I'm sure it's night, it's here, it's totally different, huh? Very nice. And I see a lot of construction going on, huh? A lot of construction. Funny. So right over here is actually, I believe this is the back walls of the Windward Walls. Mm -hmm. And that's a very famous area that people love to come to. What made you income for this uh, neighborhood? What? Made you income of the people. What's the income? Uh, made you income, yep. Yeah. I would say easily a hundred grand, 80 to a hundred. So most young professional, people who wants to have nightlife. Nightlife, restaurants, walkability. Those are gonna be the key factors. Because a lot of this is changing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bring you right up here. Have you been to Pastiz yet? Nope. Pastiz is one of the, it's a New York based restaurant that mm -hmm. actually just moved to Wynwood. And this is one of the biggest restaurants actually in Miami. And right now you really can't even get a reservation. And this is going to be Pastiz right here. Yeah, nice specific location. It's totally different from Miami, huh? It's completely different than Miami. Yeah, because we used to. Sunny house, we used to Brickell, we used to downtown Miami. Yep. This and is... of course, you know, the clientele is coming here because look at the exotic cars. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people want some change. Bank. <laughs> is it up? It's the bank. Yeah. Yeah, bank. Yeah, don't get the smoke shot. shot. Yeah, it's close to cash out there. Bank Go here. right to the. Yep. Very nice. Something you need, unusual. No, it's right. So roughly price range per square feet is going to be around 1100. Correct. So this is most of new construction costs in uh, Miami today. Nobody sell less. That's right. Yeah, people love the, uh, all this unusual stuff. Listen, you're making us presentation, people will feel what they're gonna have. We're gonna make drone, so they're gonna get idea how far from the uh, downtown Miami. <laughs> Honestly, I've never been here. You've never been here? No. Oh my God, really? I'm family, you know, Sunny Isles, Hollywood, Hollandale. I'm working with the Brickell a lot. And oh, Winwood, uh, Winwood's, here, uh, here. Winwood's, this is Winwood. Like, it's very, um, you come here, it's, it's just different. Like, look at this, we have a new burger place coming, looking, smash burgers. 
I, to be honest, it's my first time I'm traveling with a car. Nice neighborhood, huh? It's a lot awesome. of potential. The potential's unreal. Yeah, because... So, this particular venue right here, it's called the Oasis. That's one of the biggest concert venues when it comes to Windward. I see so much construction going on, so it means, yeah, it's will five years, it will be totally different neighborhood. Ten years ago, nothing was here, right? I think it was three like... Three years ago, nothing three was years, here. Three yeah. I remember Storages when... and everything, yeah. Of course, when I first moved to actually Miami about five years ago, um, before I worked for new development, this was nothing. You really had, there was nothing for anyone to do around here, but other than go out and go to the clubs and stuff. But now there's more, it's more livable. You have Trader Joe's right up the street. You have Whole Foods coming. All the neighborhoods are now integrated. So you can go from Midtown to Wynwood to Design District to Biscayne Bay, which is going to be right where Edgewater is located. So the walkability, especially when it comes to these particular neighborhoods is huge. Yeah, people don't need the car here. You can walk. This building is going to be a new development. And that new development is going to be apartment homes. Rental. Rentals. So you're saying one bedroom, $3,000. This is the uh, price of Sanyal's. Yep. This is actually going to be one of the first WeWork spaces coming to Wynwood. They haven't got the full permits yet, but that's going to be coming soon. And the space that actually, the office space is actually really large. Shared, shared office space. It's going to be space. more of like a shared office space. Are you familiar with the standard no. hotel? No. So this hotel right here is called Arlo. Uh -huh. It's a company based out of New York. That's actually the first hotel that came to Wynwood. Right now we have, um, there's going to be five hotels, including this one coming to Wynwood, including Arlo. And then there's other, the Moxie's actually coming as well. And the cool thing is that they have a rooftop bar. And the rooftop bar is actually right up here. You walk up those stairs and it will bring you to the rooftop. And that's going to be what they're known for is that rooftop bar. More construction. 